Today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a special version of the Opera browser built specifically for gamers. The browser includes unique features like CPU, RAM, network limiters to help you get the most out of both gaming and browsing. I find this super helpful. I, I don't know about you guys, but I always have a million tabs open all at once and uh, being able to like quickly access different tabs and you know limit things or just see simply how much uh, certain websites are using and to be able to control it from there. You can also simply browse all your favorite social medias. You have all your integrations on the side here. We've got Twitch, WhatsApp, all your social medias that you enjoy. Um, and you can quickly search and, and surf through all of your, uh, your favorite destinations on the web. The accents in Opera GX are operated by neon lights and how they break the darkness of the night. You can customize the browser with particular themes, wallpapers, and colors. You can also stay up to date with free games that are all uh, listed here on this easy to use, uh, easy setup sidebar. You can just click on this and you can uh, format this and you know you can make it different uh, colors or um, if you have chroma or Corsair lights enabled, you can use those as well. So the biggest reason I wanted to bring this um, to you guys was because I thought it would be interesting uh, because it's also available on mobile. Uh, and it can be connected through uh, to the desktop version. So you can basically take your PC kind of on the go with uh, you know whatever you use, your phone or your iPad or anything like that. Um, and yeah, it just keeps everything together. It's nice and clean and easy to use. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If uh, you wanna check this out, make sure to check the link. I'm gonna have that pinned in the comments and uh, in the video description right there. So you can uh, check that out and let me know what you think. Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, it is the highly anticipated, maybe not so much, but we got our monthly bag of crabs sneak peek. So let's go ahead and uh, make the most of it here. We are on the Boom Beach developer build. That is why I do not have as much gold as I usually do from opening up 10 million uh, trader crates a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, uh, highly recommend that you do that. But uh, yeah, if you guys are going to uh, be playing the Mega Crab or uh, you're getting ready for the next season of Warships, I do appreciate it if you throw the code chicken in the shop for me. And um, yeah, we'll get to that um, as we progress throughout the uh, the times we're doing so. So the Cryonier Crab, what is this all about? Now, basically what we're going to get here is we're going to have Cryonier Speed. So I think what we actually need to do is load up some cryoneers. Maybe we'll use the mechs. We'll use the mechs and we'll use some uh, we'll use some cryos. They are also, uh, as we can see right now, we have a little bit of a sale on the cryoneers right now, so pretty good value. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the cryoneer crab. Let's talk about the cryoneer crab. The cryo crab, as uh, some like to say. So the best thing about the cryo crab is that we have the cryo bomb, and I believe that is fixed throughout um, the entire crab. So the cryo bomb, it, the cryo crab is not really about the cryoneers. This is, I'm gonna say cryo a lot in this video, just a heads up. Uh, but it's more about the cryo bomb and how that makes bases uh, a lot more accessible for zookas, a lot more accessible for warriors, a lot more accessible to basically everything that dies to mines. Um, plus it's just a, it, it's the best gunboat ability to have except for uh, speed serum on the crab because you can slow down and uh, freeze so many defenses and the crab bases, you know, as we progress through them, they're, re they're really so clustered um, that you can get some really great value out of the, uh, can I click on you? Um, out of the cryo bomb. So obviously we have cryonier speed as a bonus. Now, in my opinion, it's more of a detriment to the cryoneers than it is really a bonus because as you can see here, they just kind of, like they are fast. I mean, it's nice in terms of the shot, for sure. But the problem is they just run out in front of everybody and end up dying. Like, they're, um, I don't know. That's the problem with using them with, with bombardiers. Because, I mean, look where the bombardiers are. And then look where the crying ears are. Now, of course, we can use scorchers. We can use heavies. We can use other troops that are actually going to get in front of them. Uh, the mechs, a little bit slow for this. But, um, yeah, maybe we can do a little bit better example if we mix in um, some other troops that this you typically run. I mean, this is kind of a goofy strategy that we wouldn't normally see. So, uh, yeah. But guys, make sure if you haven't already, you're subscribed to the Chicken Gaming Challenge ch challenge channel. Um, that's where the live stream of Season 32 is going to be. And if we have time for some Crab this weekend, then we'll uh, 
we'll throw that up on there too, which is something I, I want to start doing regularly over there. Um, okay, okay, okay. So let's switch the boats around. So our layout is still nice. And um, yeah, we're going to switch this in with heavies. Also, I was supposed to say this at the beginning of the video, but um, I did uh, put an ad in there. So I hope you guys uh, don't mind that. Um, it is kind of cool. I do get like a lot of offers for those kinds of things. Um, you know, to be honest, they don't really pay that well, but I figured I would try this one out just because um, the chicken's finances are taking a hit lately. So, uh, and it's it's kind of a cool, like, it's basically just, if it was too much info, it's basically just like a, um, it, it's just like a web browser, like Chrome or Firefox or whatever. Um, <clears throat> And it just, uh, I don't know, it, it kind of allows you to do different things that a normal browser wouldn't. If you play a lot of PC games and that kind of thing, then I would uh, definitely recommend checking it out. I use it. It's kind of nice, but um, I don't know. It's a web browser at the end of the day. It's not life-changing. But uh, yeah, so this will work a little bit better. You can see even with the crying ear speed, the heavies are able to uh, uh, to run out in front. Um well, they're still having a hard time doing that, eh? So this is what I mean. This is why I don't like crying your speed because yes, it's great for the uh, it's great for the shot, but they really uh, you know they they're just too fast for their own good. They just run out and they kind of die. So we'll find something that works with it. The good thing is that everything stays frozen uh, for a long time, and you can see like how quickly they shoot. It's actually pretty wild. Um, so maybe we'll go back. And let's mix in a couple more crying ears to see if we can make something work for us here. So we got, uh, we're definitely going to get rid of the mechs. The mechs are absolutely useless uh, with crying ears because they're just way too slow. So let's try this. And we'll speed you up. I do have 957,000 diamonds on this account. So I'm not too concerned about wasting some of them uh, on retraining troops. So let's grab our scorchers next. And that's going to be 36. Ooh, that's expensive. Um, so we're going to try Scorchers with five boats of crying ears and one boat of bombers. So uh, just to show you, I have three Masterpiece statues um, on this, uh, this dev account. So just to put that into perspective in case you were wondering. Also, in the first 10 stages, uh, it'll look like the crying ears are doing damage, but they really don't do anything for damage. So um, yeah, don't get, con don't get it confused. But the most important thing is if we can just find something that they're going to run well with. And let's try that. Let's try that. We got Spark. So a little bit better with the Scorchers. They kind of stay behind them. Um, the problem is when stuff gets cryoed, then the cryoneers are obviously faster and everything else. But um, yeah, I think they work a little bit better with Scorchers. That might be a more realistic uh, thing that we could try. So let's throw on some cryo bombs onto the mega core, slow everybody down, and uh, there we go. So, <clears throat> I mean, they're kind of fun. Like, I, they might be good with rifle zooka medic, um, rifle cryo zooka medic with bullet or something. If you can get bullet weight in front and, and just feed them energy drinks. Um, but yeah, for the most part, like I said at the beginning, the cryo crab is all about the cryo bombs. Um, so yeah, that's what we want to be using them for. So we can throw all these guys out here next. And I mean, the first couple stages, you can obviously just have fun with it and uh, just kind of, you know, roll with uh, with what you got. But let's see here. Yeah, so they're still going to blow ahead of the Scorchers. The only thing is they're going to stop and target everything. So they do kind of slow up. But they also have weird targeting, as you, you notice there. Um, sometimes they'll go past what seems like the obvious target, like right there, and go shoot the cannon behind them. So... Just something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, Cryo Crab, is, it's one of those crabs that's not like, uh, it, it doesn't really stand out and it doesn't really, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't really stand out to me. It's not like one of the most exciting ones. It's also not one of the worst ones either. It's kind of right in the middle of, of those crabs. So you guys let me know. Do you enjoy the Cryo Crab? Do you think it's one of the better ones? Do you think it's one of the worst ones? Uh, either way, Dr. T's got giant purple pincers. So I think we'll wrap it up uh, right about there, guys. So... Yeah, let me know what you think of that. And uh, if you are interested in the Opera, um, what's it called? Opera GX? I'll double check that. Um, yeah, Opera GX. I'll have a link in the description and I'll pin a link in the comment section for 
ease of access. So, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure you like, find it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next time, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.